Well, very kindly joined by Kieran McAvoy. Kieran, thanks so much for your time. A week, I suppose, of sadness in in some ways, Kieran, because an old mate of yours was retired, a horse that earned a remarkable $16 million in Red Zell. Yeah, it was uh, obviously a great uh, career for the old boy Red Zell, but, um, yeah, tiny bit of sadness, but at the same time, happy that he's um, he's gone out on a good note as well and, um, you know, injury-free and, um, you know, he he can uh, enjoy a... A nice retirement now. So, as you said, um, you know, huge amount of prize money won. But uh, you know, take the prize money aside, he was he was still a wonderful horse to be around. He had a great temperament, and uh, I was lucky enough to be a part of his great career. And um, yeah, there's some fond memories that I'll, I'll never forget. That's for sure. Kieran, was that his greatest attribute? His his temperament, because once he settled into his own rhythm in a race particularly in the Everest obviously we saw him extremely hard to get past but would you put that down to one one of his, his great attributes yeah I think so there wasn't that much phase to him especially um I, I rode him early in his career as a colt and he was a bit of a lad as a colt but once he was gilded he was um you know he, he turned into the, the the real professional and um just what you require in in, in a sprinter when you're aiming for the top he had that that great uh, ability to to switch off and, and go through um, you know the, the routines of his work in in in, in great fashion and, and when I say that he'd be very relaxed and and then he'd just switch on for for, for when he when was needed uh, once those once he walked into the barriers it was uh, it was a different horse and he put the game face on so um, I'd have that down as uh, you know one of his biggest strengths in, in just being being able to uh, to use himself properly and um, I, I reckon that definitely helped um, being able to train him the way that the Snowdens wanted him to. You won 15 races, of which you rode them on nine occasions. When you won a couple of Everest and the money that you were racing for there, it's going to be hard to get away from uh, those two races. But what was what was the number one win for you? What was the one that you'll always remember him for? Oh, it's probably the, the first Everest, no doubt. You know, it's hard to go past that one. But outside of those, um, you know, his, his win in the Dali Sprint, the Dali Classic, uh, was a memorable one as well. You know, he was... Um, he, he was lightning down the straight on the couple of the occasions that he ran down the straight there at Flemington. And, um, you know, he won three Concords as well. And, and each time he won those uh, early in his preps, he was, he was pretty dynamic. And, um, as a, from a jockey's point of view, he was, he was so comfortable to ride. He was, um, he, he was very, uh, he, he was very obviously quick when, when you press the button to, to give you that turn of foot. And, uh, it was, it's an exciting position to be in when you, when you're riding a horse of, of his caliber and um uh, but i suppose when you when you're picking a win out um that, that'd be the top two the the first everest and and then um uh, and then the, the win down the straight in the dali classic